All right, today's the day we're gonna give this a try. Uh, this is a large, I think it's about an eight inch skillet. It was a cheapo Walmart large. Uh, it's not real thick, but um, got some 60 grit here. And we're just gonna start grinding off this, this iron top until we get a silky smooth finish. I wanna just bring you along. There's some good videos on how to do this. This is more for, uh, this is just my version because I wanted to make it. But uh, yeah, so we'll get started. Okay, so um, that is now, I would say, done enough with this 60 grit. I use 13 discs of 60 grit. Some of this was hand, a little bit of it. A few of these, like this one here, got folded up and kind of sand, hand sanding certain areas before I put it on, on the, uh, on this. But, uh, so you can see compared to the beginning, and it's, it's scuffed here because I was working these corners, but, all of this is very, very smooth, just like the center there. Okay, so it's pretty smooth, and this is just with 60 grit. Right, a couple of spots. I'm gonna now throw 100 grit on there. I'm gonna do about a half an hour with 100 grit. I think right now I'm at about an hour and a half into this, maybe a little more, but 13 discs of 60 grit, these are the, uh, these are these Home Depot Diablo ones. This is the 100 grit pack. So, wear a mask. My mask is full of dust. My hands are full of iron. And that is 120. And that's what it started as. And that's 120. Still some divots, still some scratches. We'll keep working on it. All right, we are back at it. I want to get you an update. We've got our 13 number 60s, our four number uh, 100s. And I just finished my second 120. And uh, this is what we got. So started out basically this. And here's where we're at. So that's not bad. Um, you can kind of see there's somebody <laughs> in the, there. So you can see I'm I'm in the I'm in it, but not quite a mere finish. Going to keep going. I'm gonna do two more 120s. I'm gonna try to do four 150s, four 220s, four 320s. Just gonna do four of everything unless it becomes obvious that I don't have to continue with uh, four of each. Okay, I've worked my way up to 220 grit. I'm going to start my third one here. And hey, you can see my camera and me in the background. <laughs> so we're getting there. But there's my 60s, 100s, 120s, 150s, 220s. Number three, 220 right here. I decided to go with three of each cause, well, there's 15 in a pack. So if I can get by with three of each, I can do five, you know, conceivably five of this size pan, let's say. Um, and that's the update here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to show you kind of like what, I, what I'm doing in what order, basically, uh, I think I've said it earlier in this video, but I'm, I start out on the outside of the pan, every single pan, the outside here, because that's going to use up the outer uh, edge of this pad, this uh, sanding pad disc. Then I go into the middle, and I go round and round, and I move the pan a lot. So I'm going to get set up, and I'm going to try to show you some footage of that. Hopefully it's not terribly loud, but it's coming up. So... Prepare yourself. If you have your volume up really high, <laughs> it might get louder. So just be aware. Okay, here we go. This is a 220. The uh, G17 
20, 23, 24, 25. This is my 26th sanding pad. So let's see how we do here. Here we go. pretty much what I'm doing that was about four and a half minutes these uh, 220 pads don't last as long I'd say as the much more um, coarse ones but uh, yeah that was about a four minute job there so I've done 27 I think 27 pads now I got three to go um, and we'll see what it looks like after that I still have to use some steel wool on it but uh, anyway, that's what I've been doing. So four times 27, <laughs> whatever that is, about uh, 120 minus, I don't know, three times, 12. 
whatever that is, 115 minutes or something, it's a couple hours. All right, <clears throat> so I just got done with all the 320s. And so we started out with this. Um, now here's where we're at. Okay, so it's not like uh, night and day better, but you can see I'm in there somewhere. <laughs> it's not night and day better than maybe the 150 in um, like reflect reflection, but uh, it is very smooth. <laughs> And I'm gonna try to get you guys really close. Maybe you can see the green. Kind of see it there, right where it goes from kind of light to dark. See the green in there. There's a few blemish, I'd say blemishes. Left, there's one right there in that bright spot. Oh, low on battery. There's one there and there's some down there. It's not perfect. I think this would have done been a lot easier with some 40 grit to really remove some more material. You can see right at the base of the pan, you can see kind of a weird double line there. Uh, let me get that right in this area. I'm telling you that this is higher up than very right along the edge. It's kind of a lower area, so it was really hard to get that. And that's what a lot of the work was, trying to get that area cleaned up. And uh, that would be the area on this that has the most, uh, you can see that pitting in there. And that's where most of the pitting is, is down there. So going forward, I am going, I wanted to show you what this looks like when you're done just with the grinding. Okay, with the sanding. I'm going to continue. I've got triple aught and quadruple aught steel wool here. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put that to this and continue. But, um, as far as this being done, um, it's done. Use 30 discs, which is $20 worth of discs. They are 67 cents a piece at the store. So 30 of them would be about 20 bucks. And about, I'd say, all told, probably over, just over three hours of work. Tell you what, that's a lot better than, uh, than it was, which it was essentially this, right? With some, a little bit more seasoning on it, but not really. So I guess you can see what the point was. And, uh. That'll be that. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, let me know. I'm not a professional sander <laughs> and I'm not a, I'm an electrical guy. I'm not a metals guy either. So if I did something horribly wrong, let me know in the comments because uh, others may be watching this and they could use some pointers too. So that is that. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, we are working on it, gonna season it and uh, we'll get you a final update in better lighting when we're done, but uh, it turned out pretty good. I never actually went with the quadruple aught steel wool. I just put some triple aught in there and messed with it, so yeah.